Alright, what is going on dudes? My name is Zoda13, welcome to another Pokemon Auras Wi-Fi battle. In this battle, I'm facing Darwin, who's got an OU team, which is a pretty cool looking team, if I do say so myself. Except for that Greninja, which is technically Uber. But, I mean, to me, I don't think that Greninja should be Uber, because it doesn't have that bulky defenses, even though the party and ability gives it a huge advantage. But I still have my UU team, as that's what I've been battling with. So, anyways, um... Yeah, we're gonna get started. And listen in here, we got the Sinnoh Legendary theme, which is pretty cool. One of my favorite Legendary themes. Alright, so he's gonna lead out with the Wash Rotom. I'm gonna lead out with my Uxie, which I do every almost every time that I have this team. Or any team that has a Uxie in it, because Uxie is my entry hazard setup. So, or one of them. So, I'm gonna... You see, obviously, I'm gonna go for the Stealth Rocks. The burn doesn't really matter that too much here on my Uxie, just because, um... I do have U-Turn on this Pokemon, but that's basically just to get the little bit of extra damage to switch out. So, he misses the Hydro Pump, which is kind of funny. And, um, yeah, so I do get the Special Defense Drop, which is, uh, kind of hilarious. And, now that he's, he misses the Hydro Pump, and, um, yeah, I'm just gonna get my burn damage. He's gonna be over the Volt Switch this time, to make sure he hits, and also to get out of there. Uh, to take the Psychic on whatever he goes for. But I I want to say that I go for U-Turn on this turn. So, I actually knew he was going to go into the Greninja, but I don't think I switched. Alright, I think that I went for the Psychic. Yeah. So, basically, I'm, I'm pretty sure that Uxie's going to be knocked down on this turn. Just because Greninja's... <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. Greninja's are special powerhouses. So, the Protean is going to give him the Dark-type and... He's going to, uh, wreck Brainchild, which sucks. I was hoping to get off the U-turn. I should have predicted the switch into the Greninja. I just didn't know when to predict that. So, next I'm going to go into Cake, because I know Cake can do quite a lot. But he's going to switch out the Greninja in order to, like, keep the Greninja fainting. So he goes into that Rotom Wash, and I want to say I go for, oh yeah, so I go for the Belly Drum, and I start maxing out my, um, I wanted to max out my attack. I knew that he was going to switch uh, out the Greninja because he does not want that Greninja to get hit with a play rough because it'll do a ton. So now that I'm max attack, I'm just going to hit this Rodom with my um, play rough and absolutely wreck it. So uh, next he has the Caesar. I believe I do stay in here and I'm just going to keep attacking because I need to. Um, I'm going to do as much damage with this thing as I can. He's. Um, he's gonna make of all the Caesar, just gonna give it all the boosts that Mega Caesar has in in its stats, and he's gonna give it the Bolt Punch, which is going to knock out Cake, which sucks. So yeah, uh, Slurp Puff is now down. So we send in B Day Candle because it's probably my best counter to this uh, Caesar on the team. I could also go into my um, whatever you call it. Nah, it doesn't even matter. Anyways, he's gonna send out that Garchomp, uh, to take the incoming Fire Blast, but I think this does a fairly good amount to the Garchomp. Yeah, it does a pretty decent chunk to it, even though, uh, it's resisted to it. So, I switch out because I know the Earthquake is coming, so I'm gonna go into Paul, and, uh, yeah, this isn't my Paul with the Ice Beam. I don't even think I have one with an Ice Beam. I don't know, whatever. Anyways, I send it in there just to take the hit, and he's gonna, uh, switch out, and I believe he goes into that Greninja again, yeah, to take the incoming Scald or Psy Shock or whatever I go for. I think, I wanna say I go for Psy Shock, but I don't know. Maybe I call mine up, predicting the switch. Yes, I call mine up because I am smart, and I predicted the switch into the Greninja, um, so, basically, I'm just going to, uh, boost my defenses up so this thing can't do that much to me, and also so I can hit it and do uh, quite a lot of damage. So, he's going to go with a Dark Pulse, which is going to hurt, but I don't think it kills me one hit. So, yeah, I survive, which is awesome, and I'm going to go with a Scald to do as much damage to this thing as I can, and I kill it, which is awesome. So, like Greninja, the, um, one of the most dangerous members, the most, I'd say probably the most dangerous on his team is now out. Which is awesome, because that's how good Paul is. So, he next sends into that Caesar, and this is going to go with a Bullet Punch, maybe. I don't think it kills me. Um, 
No, it's gonna go for Pursuit, which outsped me. Probably predicting the switch anyway, but uh, I was actually... I didn't know who was gonna outspeed. Thought he was gonna go for the Bullet Punch. Um, and I was gonna try to go for the Scald and get the burn off on the thing. So, next I send out Kate Upton, and it's gonna use that E-turn, and it's gonna hit... And that does quite a lot more than I thought it would. I know this is a, it's a Mega Caesar. I mean, but it's... Yeah, I don't know. Doesn't matter. So, uh, we go, next, he sends in the Zapdos. Now, this is not going to take the Scald super well, I don't think. It gets hit with it, yeah. Well, yes, and I get the burn, which is very awesome. So, he has so many Pokemon with leftovers, it's kind of insane. Um, I remember back in, like, the earlier generations when leftovers was, like, the default item to have in your Pokemon rather than, um, any other, um, uh, uh, of them, so. I don't know why I stayed in here, but I take that Thunderbolt and I survive it somehow, but the Ice Beam, I believe, does knock out the Zapdos, or gets it to the point where Burn will take it out, so. Um, I'm hoping this Leftovers isn't given enough. I'm like, come on, Burn, do enough, and then we'll see right here. Do I take out the Zapdos, or does the Burn... The Burn takes it out. Yeah! So, <laughs> The Zapdos is now down. Um, I still have a couple left, and he's, he sends out that Caesar once again. And I believe he goes for the Bullet Punch, thinking maybe he can kill me or something like that. But I believe that I do outspeed the thing, uh, if he didn't go for Bullet Punch. But Bullet Punch isn't going to do enough, because I'm a Milo Tick, and I resist it. So this Scald is is going to do a decent amount. I'm just, I was crossing my fingers for the burn, which I did not get. And with the um, leftovers, I'm thinking I, I couldn't tell if I would live another bowl punch or not, but he outspeeds me anyway and goes for the U-turn, making sure he gets the cr the krill, the kill. So um, he's going to choose the next Pokemon to go into, and I get to counter that, which is good. So he sends in that Garchomp, and takes a little bit of Stealth Rocks damage. And I'm going to go into Hayden who's one of my few Pokemon that are left. So, uh, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna try to hit this thing, but I didn't know the Garchomp outsped me. But I realize now, Choice Scarf. The thing was Scarfed. So, which really sucks, which basically means right here, and I wanted to see whose Scarf would give him the, out, the, the boost. So, uh, Scarf Garchomp is faster than Scarf Chandler, but I survive it! <coughs> and I'm able to take the thing out with his Shadow Ball, which was the most clutch thing ever. So, he's got the Caesar left, and this is my last Pokemon. And, sadly, it's going to use a Bullet Punch, and it's going to knock out my Chandler, which is going to give him the win. So, it was a pretty fun match, but I mean, yeah. He had OU Pokemon, it's technically Uber, and I had, uh, yeah. I'm my UU, -U, but it was a fun battle anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, so it's appreciated. And yeah, I will talk to you all later.